So in today's video, I am going to be attempting to sub on this Dollar Tree full leather. I saw this and I was like, I wonder if you can sub on it. I haven't seen any videos on it yet, but let's 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 try this out because if you can sub on that, this is like game changer. Like you can make custom wallets. Let, let's try this out. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about crafting on a budget. I do supplementation and sewing videos. So if any of those things interest you, please consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family. And let's just jump into this video. So this is the Dollar Tree full leather. They have different colors. This is the white. Um, this is it says it's 11.75 inches by 20 inches. And let's just take it out. I haven't taken it out of the packaging. It's, well, maybe that's why. Because it says the coating is polyvinyl chloride. And the backing is 100% polyester. So you can technically sub on both sides, right? Well, you wouldn't want to sub on this side. Because this side is like this. It's just like texture. So this is how it looks. It's pretty thin compared to other um, full leather. But we're going to test it out and we're going to see how well it subs. We're going to see if it loses its texture because you can, if you've ever seen full leather, it has that texture. So we're going to see if it flattens it out and if we can actually sub on it, how vibrant our images are this is a decent size so let's let's jump into testing this out let me know down below do you think we'll be able to sub on it don't cheat and see this video let's see you're going to need some heat tape your design i just printed a full sheet of eight and a half by 11 this is in no sub Sublimation paper, if you know, I love this thing. One of my favorite sublimation papers. You're gonna need your full leather and some butcher paper and your heat press. That's all you're gonna need for this. So we're gonna take our full leather and you can do this. If this works out, you would be able to just put your design inside the pattern piece, like create a clipping mask and then print it out in the shape that you already need it and then place it and cut it out that way. But I'm just testing mine out. So I'm just going to take the paper and I'm gonna flip it down and I'm gonna cut out the size of my paper on my faux leather. I'm just using a rotary blade, a rotary cutter. And then I'm just going to tape it down I'm going to actually get my piece of butcher paper and I'm going to put that down. I'm going to take the full leather, place it down with that weird texture facing down, full leather part facing up, and then I'm just going to tape it to my butcher paper. So I'm going to take my heat tape dispenser, put it down, and then I'm going to just tape it to my paper and I'm doing that because I don't want to tape it around because I don't know if it's going to leave like an imprint. Okay, so this is ready to go to our heat press. Let's take it to our heat press. So I'm going to put down my design. Remember, I already taped it to butcher paper. I have my heat press to 360 degrees. And then I'm just going to take some butcher paper and I'm going to press down for 30 seconds. You want to get some heat gloves? Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Oh, it kind of melts it onto my paper. Hold on. Maybe I should have done less temperature. Let's see. There's some areas where it feels like it kind of melted a little bit. So I'm pretty sure the texture on it came off. Maybe I had too much pressure, we'll see. Okay, so 
want to peel it off. I have good ink for these. So some paper kind of looks like it just got stuck. You can probably take some water and rub that on, which I think is what I'm gonna have to do. So I'm just grabbing and finding like where I have solid pieces of paper and I'm pulling that. I'm gonna get some water and see if I can take off the rest of the, the paper. Um, and then we'll talk about texture and how well it's subbed in a moment. So I'm gonna be honest, I am really impressed with how this turned out. Like the colors are so vibrant. Now let's talk about texture. Cause I wanted to see if the texture was gonna flatten. Cause let me remind you of what the texture looks like when you buy it. So it's like that. Yes, the texture flattened. I don't know if I would have had less pressure if it would have not flattened but honestly that doesn't bother me like you can still see a little bit of texture don't know if camera's picking it up but it's definitely like right here you can see texture Let me see. I don't know if you can see that but it's not the same texture that was here it's definitely a lot more flat and it's a bit more, it feels different. It feels different. So this, I don't know, it like weakens, if that makes sense, because you're kind of melting it in a sense. I think it's so cool and I'm gonna probably be buying more. Like I can just imagine making like custom wallets, custom vinyl zip pouches and things like that. Like that's just so beautiful. Like I. I'm honestly probably going to buy more of these. I think they look so cool. And I'm pretty sure you'll probably be able to do it the same with like Hobby Lobby's full leather and other brands um, that sell full leather as well. So I'm pretty pleased. Let me know down below if you guys also tried this out. Let me know if you thought that we were going to be able to sub on this because... I'm mine like I'm so impressed and like the minute I saw this at Dollar Tree I was like I want to try subbing on this I didn't see anyone else make a video I'm sure they did but I haven't seen any and I'm like so happy with this now let me also touch on the you know if you were watching some of the paper got stuck to it all I did was wet the paper and it came off. It's kind of like when you press mugs or tumblers and the paper kind of gets stuck a little bit and you just have to pump water. Same thing. So if your paper gets stuck, just wet your paper. It's not going to do anything to the full leather and it'll come right off. It's not going to be stuck there forever. So let me know down below if you guys tried this out. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys oh let me know if there's anything from dollar tree that you want me to try out